We just arrived at the spot we fished yesterday. We had a major, major success on the sand eel wobbler. We're back on the same beach. Conditions are a little bit different. We have less wind, less waves, but we hope the water is still a little bit murky. I used a fly rod today and we'll see if it works. Yesterday it was a little bit too windy. For me, normally I use the fly rod the most time, but um, yesterday it was just extremely wavy and the wind was super strong on my casting hand. And let's see if we're gonna catch a fish like yesterday. That would be epic. Yeah, that's so, the goal. Let's so, go. Let's go. Julius is uh, trying the sand eel again and I'm gonna use a fly rod with a sand eel fly. So let's see if uh, one of them brings us a new big fish, hopefully. It's really murky, like not super, but a little bit. And this is really nice, a lot of water in here. I went through the first channel here, this is a deeper area and then we have the shallow area here coming, you can see it. And I'm gonna stand on this sandbank and I'm gonna take some casts. Now I just put out a little bit of line and I will fish the, the edge. It's really good to have a line basket with you. You don't have the water resistance when you're casting. Julius is casting the sand eel over there and the sea trout, sea trout seem to really like the spot. We have some ugly side wings. So guys, I got a fish on. Like right in the in the in the channel. The fish is quite strong. I don't know if it's the biggest fish. Let's see. Nice, it's a nice Greenlander. Beautiful silver. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, beautiful. Let's try to net him. He's gone. Fuck me. Julius just hooked up to a beautiful sea trout. Unfortunately, he lost it in the last moment. Channels are just right in front of us and the fish are swimming in this channel so they are hunting the food in these channels yeah, that worked quite well I had only five casts and there was the first fish Julius just had a bite as well but um, the fish came off like mine the fish are not biting too properly so I'm gonna change to a tube fly it's a polar Magnus and I hope with the with the tube system I'll don't lose another fish. The problem with the sand eel is that it's got this um, glue head on it and that's like it's going a little bit behind the hook shank and this is not really good for a good hook set. And I never tried this tube flies so far, so this is the first time. And we will see if it delivers some fish. That's the way it should work. Now we have this loose hook behind here. And if they are not biting properly, that might, might give us some good chance of hooking a fish. So let's get back in the water. The second bite now. But the fish came loose as well. Today we are not, not the fishing pros anymore. <laughs> I have to take a back cast. The wind is pushing so strong. I had two pretty, pretty strong bites, but unfortunately I couldn't hook them, so it's been pretty nerve wracking so far, but we're, we're still confident in this spot. I just had another bite on the sand eel, but I couldn't hook any one of those three fish. 
so I'm changing lures right now because this one might be too big to hook them. So guys, I'm changing to this lure right now. A little bit smaller Hansen spoon and we'll see, maybe this one works. So we're changing location one more time. We've had one hookup and three missed bites. We'll see, maybe the next spot will be more successful. So we're at the next spot. Julius hooked up again. Here we go. Finally it worked, it was so hard to fish the fly, so I changed to spinning gear and today is maybe no weather for fly fishing. So here we go guys, Julius just caught his first sea trout of the day. We had a really hard time so far but here it is. Yeah, look at this beautiful sea trout, again, totally silver and in really good conditions, but we let her back as quick as possible. So guys, we just had an accidental quick release. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we wanted to show you how to release the fish, but it, uh, it decided to release itself. Yeah, absolutely, and that's quite fast, now we're a little bit wet, but Nice yeah, fish, no worries. Anyway, it was around the 50 centimeter mark, and we still have the big one from yesterday, so no need to take this one with us. So, good relief. Yeah, she needs to grow a little bit more and then spawn one time, then we might catch her again. We'll come back next year. <laughs> Absolutely. So guys, after our accidental quick release, we are back with another one, about three minutes later. So guys, here's the second fish of the day. We will release him like the first fish, but um, yeah, again, super silver fish, super nice colored. You see all these single but big spots. I think they, these fish just look amazing, like a bar of silver or something like that, crazy. I'm always happy if I catch one of these super nice fish. Amazing color, amazing color. Look at this silver fish, amazing. There he goes. Woo! Amazing guys, let's go on, catch some more. Okay, so since Jonas is catching all the fish, I'm changing lure one more time because I want to hook up again today. Now this fike fish, spooked, wobbler. Maybe this one will have some more luck. Let's go. And I'm trying another spoon. This is a line through spoon by Savage Gear. I caught my first sea trout on this spoon. So, here we go guys, fish on. Not a monster. Whoa. Nick, Julius is helping me. Okay, here we go, fish in the net. Yeah. First fish for today that landed. <laughs> that was a lot of work. Finally, I caught one myself. Now we're gonna just release her. No fishing that are coming out of the rivers, just beautiful silver fish that have been in the, in the sea for the winter. That's the fish we like. Perfect.
after two fish for him and one sea trout for me we're changing spots one more last time because we need to buy some food we are super hungry only had some breakfast today and it's time to get something to eat yes and we'll do a catch and cook later so stay tuned just have a look I just caught um, with my hands this uh, little sand eel and that's the actual food Th these uh, sea trout um, are hunting in this area here they are really small but look at it yes super silver super tiny fish beautiful I had three bites but I didn't hook up. Julius lost the fish as well, but it's been a great day. We're, we're really happy we've caught some nice fish. Yeah, now it's time to get back to the cabin. Then we can warm ourselves up because if you are fishing this uh, beach, it's, uh, it is super cold because you're standing in the water the whole time. Yeah, it's, it's still February and we're in Sweden, so yeah. It's, it's pretty cold. <laughs> yeah, actually yes, but it's worth it. If you catch some super silver fish like that, it doesn't get better. So, we've been fishing our last fishing spot for about 10 minutes. It's time to make a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're making a shoe now. It's not always easy. Yeah, he, he destroyed the video, thank you. We're going back to our Airbnb. We're looking forward to the next five days. Now he it lost. starts raining. Let's go to the car. Oh. One of the sea trout that Julius caught three days ago, we decided to cure. We used a mixture of salt, sugar and dill. Bruh. The sea trout fillets that he cured three days ago are now ready to eat and we're going to show you how to prepare them. There's the sea trout, you see it, it's totally silver. And the salt and the sugar is gone. There's only some dill and some pepper left. And we're gonna wash it off. This is just use cold water it has a really good and firm texture it's like just perfect after two to three days not too soft and not too hard if you use too much salt it gets really hard so this is just perfect perfect color perfect texture washing off the second fillet now I'm drying them off a little bit and now he's going to show us how to take the bones out with the tweezers just need to feel it with your finger where these bones are they're always in salmon and trout so we are taking these little bones off because if you don't cook up the fish you will um, feel them in the in your mouth while eating it pull them out like this you can see it here so now you're taking the skin off but uh, first i just trim off a little bit from this belly fat just a little bit, not too much. You don't want to waste anything. And then I recommend you to take a fork. And then it's a little bit of uh, work to get the knife under the skin. Yeah. And then really slowly you can work your way up. Just always put the meat up a little bit. The meat color and the structure is just perfect. And we didn't waste anything. Cutting some nice slices out of this fillet. It's not so easy to cut it thin because it's a little bit sticky to the knife. We have to prepare some other stuff. Yeah, if you catch a bigger fish, it's uh, more easy to cut uh, big slices. And we're gonna prepare some typical Swedish bread. Normally they use salmon for it, but um, the sea trout tastes even better, in my opinion. Such a tasty fish. Now I'm gonna use this typical Swedish bread 
and now we can use the cream cheese or on the other hand some butter put a nice layer on, on your bread and now you just take these little stripes and put them all around here this bread is quite interesting it has a nice shape normally it's shaped a little bit different but this time we thought to buy something special for you That looks really tasty. Now one of the last things we'll use is some caviar. You don't have to use it, but I think it's really nice. But I don't use too much of it, just a little bit for the flavor because it's really salty. And these two flavors just fit perfectly together from this cured fish and the caviar. That's just an amazing combination. You can use any type of caviar. You can use trout caviar, herring's caviar or something else. Maybe sturgeon? Yeah, you can use if you <laughs> if you have enough money you can use sturgeon caviar as well. You're having a test? Perfect. Now I'm gonna try it. Like it's super crunchy, but it just tastes tastes amazing. Perfect. Mmm. That's a perfect meal after a long fishing day. Just super good, super healthy. You can see it's tasting pretty good. Yeah. I can't wait to dig in. We hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to use a cured sea trout. We'll show you how to cure a fish in another video. We'll show you how to get the right recipes with the salt, the sugar, the spices yeah. and everything. How to rub it on the fish and how to, how to age it, how to cure it in the fridge. Yeah, we're going to dig in now. We're really hungry and we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. See you, bye. If you've liked this video, subscribe to our channel for more epic fishing content and also make sure to watch our other sea trout fishing videos. If you haven't seen our other catch and cook where we prepare a beautiful pokeball, make sure to watch it now. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next episode. Say now, I've been humble too long. Yeah. Tell them all to stay calm. Yeah. Tell them all to move on.